Must have been fishing when these monsters came. Bad luck. Fresh water. There must be a settlement nearby. Dora. What? Stop! Not another step or I'll... Wait. It's you. You're the one who tried to free me on the ship. At least you made the effort. Suddenly, you see what she sees. Feel what she feels. Confusion, resolve, and a hint of gratitude. Did you feel that? You've got the same thing I do, in your head. The same. It must be that tadpole they put in our eyes. I assume that's what caused our minds to... cross. These things are going to consume us from the inside and turn us into mind flayers. You and I need a healer. Finding one won't be easy in this wilderness. We'll need supplies. I'm hoping something of use might be behind this door, but I've barely made a dent in it so far. I was thinking the same thing. Around the top of this cliff, perhaps. Hopefully there's no more of these creatures along the way. Gorgeous company for our final moments. But you're right. Whatever lies ahead will be a little less daunting with support. You can call me Shadowheart. That is none of your business. I suggest we concentrate on surviving. Very little. Supposedly, those monsters breed by planting their tadpoles in people's heads. Over time, the infected victim turns into a mind flare. I don't remember how long it takes, but we should hurry. After everything you've been through, my name gives you pause. Please. Lead the way. Something the matter? We haven't gone all that far yet. What are you referring to exactly? Must I? Thinking about it won't help. We know what to do, so let's do it. Find a way to rid ourselves of these things. We've no solid leads right now, though. We'd best get hunting. We go our separate ways, of course. What else? The ties that bind would be well and truly severed. If you must know, Baldur's Gate. And before you ask, no. I'm not telling you what I'm doing there, or who I'm meeting, or anything else. You pry too much. Any further and you'll regret it. Understand? Find a healer. And the sooner the better. 
I have other matters to attend to beyond this affliction. So that's to say you'd like to pry a little. You do seem like the type, I must say. Inquisitive, looking for connection. It's every man for himself, and you're looking to make friends. Admirable, I suppose. Or desperate. I'm not quite sure. Oh, I think you'll find that I am. Knowing what makes people tick is a skill of mine. If you want something from a person, you need to know when and where to squeeze. Don't get too ahead of yourself. I'm just having a little fun. But who's to say? I might need a distraction some evening. These campsites do get cold. And I've revealed all I'm willing to. At least for now. Now I suggest you let matters rest. Or else we'd better part ways. More of those wretched things. Better stay back. One no. strike could be lethal. Survival isn't such a distant prospect.
This seems as good a place as any to make camp. Sure, this is a good idea. Outside threats, perhaps. Each hour that passes, the thing inside us grows. We need to find a healer. Let's wake up at first light. Maybe, but we might get lucky. We're overdue some good fortune. Rest well. We'll need our strength. I've got one of those brain things cornered. There, in the grass. You can kill it, can't you? Like you killed the others? There. Can you see it? Just a dumb boar. You're relieved until you see the flash of a dagger. I just need information. I saw you scuttling about on the ship. You're in league with them, aren't you? Those tentacle... Ah! Your mind twists. You're looking out of unfamiliar eyes, prowling dark, busy streets. You try to hold the memory. But it fades to the worm, the light, the fear. <laughs> what was that? What's going on? 
The worm. Of course. That explains things somewhat. And to think, I was ready to decorate the ground with your innards. <laughs> Apologies. Indeed we are. Please, allow me to introduce myself. My name's Astarian. I was in Baldur's Gate when those beasts snatched me. Is that so? We clearly move in different circles. So, do you know anything about these worms? Turn us into... <laughs> of course it'll turn me into a monster. What else did I expect? Although, it hasn't happened yet. If we can find an expert, someone that can control these things, there might still be time. You know, I was ready to go this alone, but maybe sticking with the herd isn't such a bad idea. And you seem like a useful person to know. All right, I accept. Lead on. You're staring at me again. What do you want? Oh, what's to tell? I'm a magistrate back in the city. It's all rather tedious. And clearly the tadpole. If we can't understand it, we'll never control it. survived the crash. You're alive! That's unexpected. Last I saw you, you were lying in a crucible's worth of blood. An intellect devourer nibbling at your ear. Glad to see my eyes deceive me. I'm Gail. Well met. See that rune? Nether Reese, I think. Weave so thick on it, it's almost viscous. I had a taste, and just like that, <sighs> swept from one room to the next. Not to mention, you're staring at me like a Rashimi at a blackboard. You're no wizard, are you? Because I need one, and it'll have to wait. The primary need now is a healer. I take it you recall the insertion of the parasite? Are you aware that after a period of excruciating gestation, it'll turn us into mind flayers? A process known as ceramorphosis? It is to be avoided. I assume you're no accomplished healer either. Powerful cleric, maybe? Hmm. Then we'll have to find one. And fast. You and I are in a whole lot of trouble. We need help. I'm not sure where we'll find it in this wilderness. How about we embark on the quest for a healer together? Most excellent. Then, without further ado, let's be off. Besides, looks like you keep some interesting company. A woman with shadows for eyes. Deep as the dark lake. Pleasure, madam. Is it indeed? We'll see.
So much blood. More survivors? They're trying to dig somebody out of the wreckage. Come on, dig! Faster! Get her out of there! Don't die! Don't die! Don't die! The person they're trying to save, it's the creature from the ship. Still alive, but wounded. Your words fall on deaf ears. The creature's hold on them is too strong. Monster! That's my daughter! She's dying! You... You did this! You want to kill her! Suddenly, something convulses inside you. Your vision lurches sickeningly. You are one with your assailants. Your minds fuse together. They are frightened, lost. The creature in the wreckage is forcing them to attack you, controlling them like puppets. Its voice shivers across your brain, seeking access, trying to bend your will to its bidding. You feel a shock of agony as the Mind Flayer cuts through your defenses, piercing your mind. Your vision swims, but you fight through the pain. Your assailants are still under the creature's thrall. Mind Flayer made them its puppets. You approach the dying monster. This is the thing that abducted you. You could end its life here and now. If only you didn't feel compassion. Compassion? Yes, you feel hate. And you deserve to be punished for it. You should be whipped, made to bow before this creature in shame. It's possessing your mind, forcing you to love it. But then the feeling slips. The creature's mind seems to focus elsewhere.
You try to break through, but its mind is impenetrable. With a last surge of defiance, it slaps your efforts away. The monster lies exhausted, defeated. Its eyes, wet orange pearls, radiate malice. The monster's tentacles twitch. Must have been here a while. Another broken trap. Who made these things? Not a trick, my friend. Magic. Be that as it may. Ceramorphosis. What does it make you think of? Spot on. Day one, fever and memory loss. Day two, hallucinations and graying skin. Day three, hair loss and blood leaking from all orifices. Need to go on? My point is this. Our orifices remain blissfully unblooded, our heads remain clear, and our blood temperature normal. 
Any expert will agree this is abnormal. That, alas, is where my knowledge fails me. A rogue might call it luck, a priest might call it fate. As for myself, I'm a pragmatic. I see the silence before the storm. Something to sleep on. We should get some rest. So, not a tentacle to be seen. Naturally, but I was thinking, what if it doesn't? Of course, first sign of change, and I'll have to stop that pretty little heart of yours. I am open to suggestions. Knives, poison, strangulation, whatever you'd prefer. <laughs> A classic. One good thrust to the heart and you're gone. We need a good blade, of course. Don't want to waste time hacking and prodding with a dinner knife. Uh, well, I'm getting ahead of myself. This is all a worst-case scenario, obviously. If the last day has taught me anything, it's that the impossible is more likely than you think. Now, let's get some rest. The sooner we start tomorrow, the better our chances of keeping this... Hypothetical. I couldn't help but overhear... Well, all right, I could have helped but didn't. Anyway, I feel the same. Other than the occasional mental exchange, it's almost as if we're not infected. The voice on the ship told me I'd become a beautiful weapon. What do you think it meant? Agreed. We can't take the lack of symptoms for granted. All right. I've kept you from your blanket long enough. Rest well. What's on your mind? Let's see. I hail from Waterdeep, the city of splendors. I'm a wizard of considerable and scholar of exceptional accomplishment. I have a cat, a library, weakness for a good glass of wine and if the mood takes me I'm known to try my hand at poetry there certainly that I have a great respect for privacy for instance especially my own shouting up ahead we should check it out but be careful Zoro was right. Yellow is a toad, twice as ugly. The thing's dangerous. Leave it for the goblins to kill. And if it escapes, how will you... Oh, a guest. Your skull pounds in response to the prisoner's white-hot stare. 
Her lips don't move, yet you hear her voice. You again. Get rid of them. Demaze, let's... No. I'm not leaving this fiend with a stranger. Kill them. He's right. No one's safe if that thing goes loose. Not even us. Damaze! Enough. Lower the trap. Ready your blade. You've but one chance. Join me or die. No! You lying rat! The tadpole hasn't yet scrambled all your senses. Auspicious. But the longer we wait, the more it consumes. My people possess the cure for this infection. I must find a crash. You will join me. Lies. Just get rid of her. It is many things. A hatchery. A training grounds, a shelter. Githyanki protocol is clear. When infected with a geek tadpole, we must report to a caretaker for purification. You are full up. Dismiss your weakest warrior. Very well. But I cannot wait long. Nor... something special. I guess I'll spend my evenings lounging here while you do all the hard work. It sounds awful.
chatter already, Tusky. I understand much beyond your comprehension. More to the point, I know the cure for our condition. It is imperative we locate a crash. You do well to observe more and question less. Yes, in great detail. It starts with a fever and memory loss. Then you start to hallucinate. Your hair falls out and you bleed from every orifice. Your bones will change form. Your jaw will split to allow room for four great tentacles. All skin will turn to gore and be shed to reveal new flesh underneath. Then you have ceased to exist and a mind flayer is born. Words forged in steel. May your actions express the same metal. We must find my kind and be rid of the parasite. It's as simple as that. The first symptoms should have long since started, though. That is what puzzles me. We find this Zoru in the Red Hunter's camp. He will point us to a crash. There we may be purified. It is done. Thank <laughs> you.